At noon, we asked you to sound off on the women on the woman whose husband is buried in the backyard. And the calls just came pouring in. People also weighing in on another woman's story involving a lawsuit against the state. Here's tonight's Voice of the People. That woman that buried her husband in her backyard, I think she is sick, and yet she wants to be buried next to him? What happens when she's gone and that house gets sold? What do the new owners do with two bodies in their backyard? Has she even thought of that? That woman should be able to have her husband in her yard for her environment because she pays taxes, it's her property, her husband, and why should she have him assume and then have to pay for him to go somewhere else? You don't think that we have enough problems in Connecticut that we have to worry about this lady bearing her? How about the state police winning pizzas, whoever gives out the most tickets to us tax-paying citizens that work every day, drive back and forth to work, we got to worry about the state police stopping us and giving us tickets because they got a contest going on? How about taxes? How about gas prices? Who cares? Let this lady bury her husband in her backyard. Come on. I think that the idea of Charlotte Nash suing the state of Connecticut for her own negligence and going over to assist with this chimp is purely ridiculous. These people in today's world are so sue-minded. This lady was friends with the lady who owned the chimpanzee. She played with the chimpanzee. Now she's trying to sue the state and even accuse Governor Dan Malloy. I feel she has a lot of nerve and she doesn't deserve a thing, and I hope she doesn't get a thing. And do you have something you'd like to sound off on? Just call our Voice of the People hotline. Number on your screen right there, area code 203-212-WTNH. And we will air some of your messages weekdays right here at the end of our 530 newscast.